How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Professor's Garage. Today, we are taking a look at this hand warmer. This one is a Dixon catalytic hand warmer. I got this from a uh, second-hand store. They usually come with, with a bag to put this in, and uh, most brands come with some kind of uh, measuring cup to be able to measure out the fluid so real quickly how this works because i want to get this going because it's a little bit cold outside it is late at night my car said it was 19 degrees and it's, i'd say it's about that here in the garage um but this is a catalytic hand warmer this is made in japan but we'll get this going i'll show you how to load it and load it, fill it, and get it going, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So this uses just lighter fuel, lighter fluid, Zippo, Ronsonol, straight naphtha, and uh, like I said, most of them come with a measuring cup. Oh yeah, this is very old. I've got very little left in here, and uh, yeah. That's why it's so dirty, is because it's just been kicking around. So what you do, you take the cap off, and then this is the catalyst itself in there. The cottony looking stuff is not cotton. And <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty darn sure I need to replace this. Hey, this might even be the catalyst itself. Okay. <laughs> I just took a peek to see if this would come out. Looks like this is actually the cotton fill. It's all up in here, so that's good to go. But, as you can see, well, if you don't know about it, but that looks pretty spent. I think there's supposed to be more. It looks supposed to, all the ones I've seen look different. But yeah, I got the secondhand store. It's supposed to have other stuff. Brand new ones come with other stuff. But, I'm going to go ahead and put some in here. Okay, that is nowhere near what an actual fill looks like. I was about roughly a 10 count, one, two, three. I did that before and it ran for about two hours or so. But if you fill these things up, they can run for like 12 hours, depending on the size of the actual body. Some of them can run, ooh, I don't know. But there's some pretty big ones I've seen out there on just studying and stuff. So what you do is you fill it up, you put this catalyst back on, and then you heat it up. Now it's not really supposed to have a flame on it. That's what I thought when I first got this before I looked up or didn't actually, yeah, before I ever even bought this, I saw others and I thought that it would have a flame. But it's not supposed to actually burn tr like you traditionally would think. There's a little bit of a glow right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. My stand's in the way. But, okay, I do hear a flame on there. That's starting to warm up. But once you get it heated up, it takes about 30 seconds or so of flame. And then you put your cap back on. Now, the first couple times that I did this and tried this out, I did not know that there was not supposed to be a flame. So, I thought it wasn't working. But then, like the third time I tried it, I held, actually held on to it and carried it with me and played with it a little bit longer, you could say. And 
I realized it was heating up and it was working. And then I watched a couple different videos. And yeah, it's not supposed to burn. There's not supposed to be a flame. What happens is the vapors from your fluid come up through come up through the catalyst and react with the catalyst itself and that's what heats up is the, uh, the fumes reacting with the catalyst Oof. yeah that's that's dumb don't do that but this thing can get pretty darn hot I had I had it let's just pretend this is a paper towel roll but I had it on a roll of paper towels was standing up and I had it sitting on the top of it for a while and this thing got really hot so like I could barely even touch it and I was like doing this with it but what I found at least with mine if you're holding it and like trying to get the warmth from it it does bring the heat down a little bit but it do does it is I'm pretty sure it is going yeah, it's working. So, this much should last a couple hours. And, yeah. <laughs> but these things are sweet. Um, so, from my understanding of how it works, the more oxygen, oxygen it gets, the hotter it is, and probably the faster it's going through your fuel. But, since I don't have... And that's one reason you put them in their little baggies that they all come with is to restrict the oxygen flow to not get it too hot and it's a little bit easier to hold it when it's in a little bag instead of just on the bare metal now last time I was playing with this just trying it out again it was like a 10 count that I put in here and it lasted me a good little while good two hours or so I had it in my shirt pocket and that seemed like it was getting more oxygen and just warming up more than when I was holding on to it. And I'm actually trying to use it right now because, again, it's kind of chilly out here. Um, but yeah, these can get really, really, really warm. And so, but I'd have it in my pocket, it'd heat up and I'd grab onto it and take the heat out of it. It'd cool down and I'd put it back in my pocket. So I'm going to make a bag for this. So I can have a little baggie for it. It does have the smell of the, the lighter fuel. So. If you don't like that. I mean. You're probably not going to like one of these. But. These things are really cool. Or really hot. <laughs> but. I wanted one for a while. And this came. Ran across this at the. Uh secondhand store and so I snatched it up it was like a dollar or so and again it was just this didn't have the bag didn't have the filler cup measuring cup oh yeah that's that's nice it's not to its full heat because I keep using it to warm up my hands and covering up the holes to restrict the oxygen but if I let it just sit here it'll get pretty darn warm um Lost my... I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And I am going to... You can get new catalysts for these. I just need to look it up again and find one and buy one. So I can actually get this working better than it does. Because I'm pretty darn sure that it could do a lot better than it does right now. If I just put a new catalyst in it. And once you get these things going, they don't really turn off. Turn off. You, the, you can't... The way to get them stop is either pull this off and leave it by itself somewhere heat-proof. That's not going to catch fire. What the instructions I've seen... What I've seen that the instructions say is you actually just let it be on some non-flammable surface and you just let it burn itself out um so you basically let it run its life um it is kind of hard to preemptively put the fuel in this yeah that's hot um because 
the naphtha does evaporate and it's supposed to evaporate through here. So preemptively putting this in, fueling it up um, is not the best way to go. But I've heard some like people say that if you you know you do it like the day before it should still be fine. But I haven't tested that. I don't know if I will test it. But I like this. I need to get a bag for it. I would really like to get a filler cup for it. I haven't found one for sale by itself on the internet. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check out more videos about these. There's lots of cool videos out there. And they work pretty darn great. And they're super simple. And cheap especially if you find them for a dollar i think you know they could be like 15 20 dollars brand new but you find them used usually really cheap and this stuff's pretty cheap too i mean you can get a gallon of naphtha my grocery store has it for like 17 dollars and i think that's overpriced because our grocery store usually is pretty overpriced because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere but get naphtha for dirt cheap and this thing will last you a long time and very inexpensive and this is the only kind of hand warmer i've ever tried i haven't even tried the uh hot hands you know like their little packet you open up and it starts heating up haven't tried those haven't tried electric ones i do i have seen charcoal ones once i was looking up videos for these i want to get a charcoal one now you Light a brick of charcoal, put it in a case, and put it in your pocket. That sounds super crazy, super cool, so I want one. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and check out my second channel, or actually it's my first channel. Go ahead and check out Shave Up. Link in the description below. Leave a like. It's over down here, I think. Uh, leave a comment. And uh, most importantly, have a great day.